Hello, gentlemen. Patrick Ryan here, founder of Wingman for You. We help men find the women of their dreams by teaching them how to approach women with confidence. Now, gentlemen, this video is about us, us men, and how sometimes we just embarrass the whole manly race because when we show up to dates, we're unprepared or we're illy suited to talk to a woman. So I'm gonna give you three examples, gentlemen. You can imagine, since women are seeing some of my videos, they're desperately emailing me and asking, Patrick, please help the men of the world because they're embarrassing themselves. And guys, if you showed up to a date that relates to any of these three stories I'm gonna tell you, then you really need to listen to this video. So I have a friend of mine, she's a professional. She told me recently that she was out on a date just when COVID hit, about a month or two later, when people were just thinking that this thing's going to end in just a couple of months. And she was meeting this guy online, and he was a doctor. Now, at the time, there were very few places open, like restaurants and bars, right? So they decided to meet, of all places, a Target. They meet at Target, and she's thinking, okay, well, he's nicely dressed. He seems like he's polite. And so they walk around Target. If you can imagine your first date being at Target, imagine what the grandkids would think, right? And she's thinking, well, he's a sophisticated doctor. He's going to have something to say. He's going to have things to say that are important. So as they're walking around, he doesn't really ask her how she's doing. She doesn't, he doesn't really ask her how's the online dating thing going. He doesn't even ask her about her COVID experience. He starts talking about himself. And as they're walking around, he seems a little touchy, a little grumpy. And she even asks him, is something bothering you? He goes, oh, you know, I haven't eaten most of the day. And, I, and when I don't eat for a while, I get really grouchy. Guys, have a bag of peanuts, something. If you know that you're going to be grumpy before you meet this lady, do something about it. Go through a drive through Do something about it so at least you're not grouchy. Because I know I, too, get grumpy when I'm hungry. Pretty simple. You got to know yourself, gentlemen. You got to know how to act in front of a lady. So in this case, he's grumpy and she's going, why did you show up to the freaking meeting grumpy? Come on. Are you kidding me? Well, he continued to talk about himself and talk about himself and talk about himself as they walk through Target. Finally, he stopped and asked her a question. Oh, gosh. So how has your experience been? Well, as she started telling him about her experience, he interrupts her and just starts talking again about himself. She said he had a hard time making eye contact. He didn't hold her hand. He didn't touch her. He didn't open the door for her when they were leaving Target. Really? My goodness, guys, be polite. Be chivalrous. Women love that. Okay, I've got my phone in my hand right here because, and I'm going to read this to you. This is some really funny online dating stuff. So this gentleman, I don't know if you want to call him a gentleman, he's got a couple of pictures online. One, a big smile. Okay. And another one, eating some big chalupa fast food food, <laughs> taking a big bite out of it. Ah, oh my gosh. So <laughs> this guy writes to this gal, good morning. How are you today? I'm working a bit on my computer and I'm headed outside to work on my house. She says, oh, that sounds great. And he writes back, are you free for cuddles later? Cuddles? What the hell does that mean? Cuddles? Okay, you want to just hold each other and hug? Or are you looking to get laid? And she writes back, well, will you eat my pussy like a chalupa? <laughs> Now, this gal has got some balls. And guys, maybe that's what the problem is, is these women are so free to speak their mind that maybe it's intimidating to us, guys. I don't know. Anyway, he goes on to say, he's, he starts this whole greeting, by the way, guys, by saying, good morning, beautiful. And in my videos, guys, I've said, stop talking about how beautiful she is. She's heard this a hundred times before. In this case, he didn't get a date. And what she said is she erased him from the date. So let's scroll down because this, this is hysterical. Another gentleman. Well, I don't know if I want to call him a gentleman. Anyway, he's got his picture online and he's looking all cool. 
And he says, hey, this is, by the way, his profile. This gal sent me specifically his profile and says, what the hell? Hey, I'm a fun guy that just want to, now let's use some good grammar. I, I'm a fun guy that just want to have fun. M A M letter A letter, free spirit. How about I am a free spirit? That would only take one more letter, guys. I am a free spirit that's, that's I work out and I like the Kama Sutra safety, LOL. Sexual healing is real, just do it safely. I'm hung too. Really? <laughs> the guy's looking to get laid. Okay, DTF, right? Do you want to fuck? Fine, that's fine. That's a whole different level, a whole different league, a whole different attitude than wingman for you. We want to approach women with confidence, with respect, and with dignity, guys. These examples that I've just given you are what you don't want to do. And the trouble is, is that us men, even the ones with good intention, like the doctor in Target, right? Walking the floor, good intentions, but he talks about himself. And the main reason he talks about himself, because he's nervous. Now, my gosh, he's a doctor. And again, those expectations are so high and his fear level is so high, he doesn't know what to do except to talk. Now, guys, in many of my videos, and by the way, I would suggest that you stop right now and subscribe to my channel because there's some great video content on there, guys, that's going to help you get closer to the women of your dreams and still help lower your fear and your anxiety when you approach women. It's not that hard. It's really not that hard. So those are examples of what not to do, guys. What we want to do is come in with some respect. Come in like a gentleman. I don't care if you're 22 years old or 62 years old. You can be a gentleman and respectful to these ladies. And if you think she's out of your league, you think she's way above your pay grade, well, guess what? Those are the ones that you want to show that respect to because our competition isn't that stiff. <laughs> no pun intended. Thanks for, thanks for tuning in. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.